How do I zoom? This one. Uh oh. Betiel and his new glasses. <laughs> what do you reckon? Give me a few words. You excited? I'm so excited. I love the Rafa kit, I love the bike, and I love everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. In the night, so dark, I couldn't close my eyes. The floors would creak, the screens would whistle in the wind, in the wind. I'd go. Performance and jazz for, I mean, we're going to win bike races. Um, through, through us, through the riders, um, they can do it. And if they have a machine underneath them that can perform really well and they're almost one on one with it, it helps them a lot. And that's where our part is coming in to make the bike as fast as possible, the best for them, so they can go win bike races. So you found it more reliable out of the box? Yes. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, one yeah. of our aims with this is to be mechanic friendly, partly yeah. for you, but also like our end customer is yeah. bike shops as well as uh, riders. And one of the things with internal routing is, yeah. what, do you, what do you notice immediately? What's the first thing that stands out to you? Just the, the drive tube. It's like, it's free now. Right. Um, you can turn more than 90. Right. Which is no pins to block it and a certain movement. And also for us, everything is neat. Yeah, one of our pitches from the beginning was we want everybody that owns this bike to have the same experience and feel like they own a super bike. Whenever I think about a new bike for racing, the first thing I think about is the performance equation. So there's a, there's a mathematical equation that defines performance in cycling as a balance of input power from the rider and resistive power acting against them. So I can look at each of those terms and understand that I have to reduce all of those to help get a better outcome for the rider. And the biggest one for me is always aerodynamics. I think most riders, both professional and, you know, every customer of Cannondale doesn't fully appreciate what goes into making a bike. I think even they don't quite understand, you know, the amount of engineering time and development time, you know, when it takes three to four years to develop a top end racing bike like the new Evo 4. I follow the measurement of uh, yeah. I'll see you out there. Two, one, go. No, oh, it's uh, it was a very good bike. I really uh, look forward to be able to to race it. I think it's uh, it was a great bike, and uh, yeah, I'm just sitting to waiting. W when can I get it? When can I get it? I'm confident in in the engineers at uh, at Cannondale that uh, they would have done a good job and developed a, a even uh, better bike and. Uh, so it's only small, small things I can maybe tweak and, and say my opinion, but 
think they have worked well on it. It's light, it's uh, aerodynamic, it feels uh, very fast and responsive when, uh, when I get out of the, the pedals. Yeah, let's be honest, we're riding now since two and a half hours on a new bike. So nothing to complain about? Is this the feedback? Yes. And here, this was uh, very good for the bike folks, like the sprints and accelerations. And really like it for, for this specific effort. It's a perfect bike, I think, for it. So I think the, the last question I have then is, would you be happy to race it? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> For me, performance is outcomes. It's a display of ability. Also, all the factors that impact the outcome. So, it's both sides of an equation. Love is sure to come catch you. And when you watch a play or a ballerina, you watch a performance. And that's also in sport, I think. People watch a performance, and so what the athlete puts on is the performance. But also, all the factors that go into it are part of the performance. And then the factors that influence the outcome, whether it's tactics or material or training, all those things for me are in the circle of performance. Everything starts with a little chat with the industrial designers. They say, uh, okay, we need to develop a new road bike. They are always looking for new trends, new challenges, and they come to the table with an idea. And then as engineers, we come in and, and try to envision how what the, the industrial designer has put on a piece of paper can be produced. And it's a back and forth process. <laughs> It's an orchestrated effort from multiple entities. If I need to ask for help, if I need to ask for support, I can always reach out and say, hey, how would you do that? When you receive the first uh, sample, the first prototype um, from the manufacturer, that is the first exciting moment in the whole process because you see something that you did. We put this full first bike on a table next to the 3D printed frame. We have a bunch of people staring at both of them. The first five minutes are always like silent. Everybody's looking at both of them and try to catch all the details. And at the end, somebody comes up and say, I think we did a very good job. <laughs> That's always the case at the end. When you receive the first sample, you know that that's the first sample of that product in the world. You are the first person to have that product in your hands. You have been designing and looking at that product on the screen for months, sometimes years, and then you are riding it in real life. Performance, yeah, I think that word carries a lot of different uh, different meanings. Um, for me, performance is reaching reaching the highest level, whether that's in nutrition, in like recovery, in uh, results in the races, um, in helping your team achieve those results. Um, performance kind of means. It, it means everything about bike racing for, for me and all the different facets of that. Performance, I guess, is a combination of, you know, how hard you've trained, how hard you've worked, and then in the race. 
putting it all together. Um, sometimes you have bad luck, sometimes you have good luck. Often you need the good luck to have the perfect performance, but I, I'll keep going back to saying, if you give 100%, then you can't be disappointed in that performance. And that's, that's the underlying feature for me. You know, I have the doubts every day. I have moments of negativity. And I think knowing and really reflecting on moments I have not given 100%, I know how terrible I feel in those moments knowing or thinking about, you know, I could have given more there or that wasn't my best. That sort of motivates me to say, no, Veronica, you want that 100%, you don't want to be disappointed in yourself afterwards. So I think that is what really pushes me to hit that 100% every day. Performance significa uh, dare tutto quello che eh, io posso dare in una gara, da tutti i punti di vista, dal punto di vista di risultato, dal punto di vista mentale, dal punto di vista di allenamento che ho fatto prima. Quando io sono contento della, della mia performance significa che indipendentemente dal fatto che ho vinto o non ho vinto ho dato il, il 100%. To reach your goals, you need to do everything to reach your goals. It's also to adapt to the bike, for the bike manufacturer to make the fastest bike possible together with me. It's not just about only the bike and it's not just only about me, we need to work together. And if both performances come together, we can actually really perform as one unit and uh, there is where you have to work to actually reach your goals. Just consistency. Um, you have to be consistent every day with your training, with your diet, um, sleeping, recovery. Uh, everything just has to sort of line up. All these small decisions you make throughout the day are all going to affect how well you can perform on the bike and perform in races. So it really just takes dedicated persistence to just set time to, um, yeah, set your mind to the decisions that you'll make throughout the day to be a professional athlete and do the things you can do to, to reach the top level. I don't think there's any clear line in, in where it goes from pleasure to performance. And also, I think, at least for me, it depends a lot on, on how I'm going and mentally. It is my, my hobby, uh, cycling, so as long as I have also time to, to relax and have some, some breaks, uh, the motivation to come back uh, automatically. I think that in the world we are, the world of the bike, to reach the top, the top. It's very important to many things, among them, la gente que te rodea, ¿no? que necesitas personas que te apoyen para, para lo que realmente estás buscando. ¿no? Y creo que la suma de aquí, de allí, del staff, de los mecánicos, del masajista, de tu familia, del equipo, del, del director, todo eso suma para, para llegar allí, ¿no? porque al final eso es muy, muy, muy importante para, para un objetivo que es, que es lo mejor de lo mejor del mundo. gentlemen, let's welcome out the men's and women's teams of EF Education Tipco and EF Education Easy Post, Lauren Stevens, Alberto Bentio.
Performance to me means that you left everything out there on at the race, like you did everything you could and you finished the day and there wasn't anything else um, you could have done. You couldn't have ridden harder, you couldn't have ridden smarter, like that you did everything right. That's performing, so we don't always perform. <laughs> I mean, performance for me is about that that we are able to to to, to push everybody to to the maximum of their capacity. I mean, we know that not everybody can be the fastest or the lightest for the mountains or, or whatever, but all options we have, all possibilities, uh, we try to, to, to utilize in, in, in our favor. For me, that is performance. And then, of course, we also need to realize that if we need one rider to win, then that rider needs at least a few riders to help her. Uh, so we have the performance, but it's also based around teamwork. Everybody needs to understand that. Go show everybody what you can do, okay? Do it, yes. L'obiettivo ti, ti deve creare stress perché se non ti creasse stress significherebbe che non lo senti, che non lo, vuoi, non lo vuoi raggiungere o che magari non è adatto a te. Tutto sta nel trasformare lo stress o comunque la tensione, la pressione che deriva dal, dall'obiettivo in energia positiva, in, in voglia di fare sempre meglio ogni giorno, ogni minuto. Because you're the winning team. Yes. And also we have an overall third as well. Yes. Georgia. You're my favorite dream. Sunshine and fighters. So many wonders. You're my favorite dream. Sunshine. I think the technology changes the races. Training technology is, or knowledge is probably getting better and so riders are going faster. Everyone's always trying to push the equipment to be as good as it can be. And so as the equipment gets better, the people are going faster for the same effort. Um, and I think when people are going faster and the speed in the peloton is different, it starts to change the dynamic of the peloton a little bit. You might need bigger gears, the positioning can become harder where like aerodynamics can play a bigger role than just pure strength um, and all these things. Just seeing a rider be able to get the most out of themselves on a given day, to, to go off the front when no one can keep up with them, and knowing that the bike is helping carry them forwards at every stage, that's the exciting part. 
He got the job done tonight for EF Education, Easy Post, Alberto Betio. I would say Evo 4 is the ultimate expression of what a racing bike can be today. It is extremely low drag, it's lightweight, it's responsive, it's got the comfort that you need for riding on any road race terrain, it's got clearance for the tires that you need, it's basically all the bike you could need to go road riding and I think that kind of makes it, you know, the perfect companion for road riding. The bike is so fast, oh my goodness. Like that was the first thing I thought when I got on it. What we strive for is improvement. We always try to do better than before, than the previous bike and the previous product. And um, that's what evolution is, I guess. You start from a base uh, and you try to improve over that. The bike was just super responsive after the corners. I like how it's descending. You know, in every kind of terrain, it, it feels super, super good. The comfort and to stiffness is, is, is a good, good match. El objetivo es siempre innovar, obviamente, y cuando tú tienes un buen producto, tú dices, bueno, me quedo con lo que tengo, no quiero cambiar. Pero yo creo que eso es lo que hace la diferencia, eh, nunca parar. Nunca hay un techo para algún objetivo. 